Hey YouTube, it's the Tech Hacker and today I'm going to show you how to view your PSP screen on Vista and Windows 7 with a 32 or 64 bit computer using Remote Joy Lite. I uh, just want to say before I do anything, subscribe to Pro Hackster, he's a good, good friend of mine and uh, I'll have a little annotation, My the box I'm making with my fingers, just click into that, it'll take you to his um, channel and subscribe to him, he has great giveaways and tutorials. Okay. Now I just want to say real quick that you have to have custom firmware. Do not leave a comment saying I, this is not working and I have official firmware. Okay, you have to have custom firmware. Uh, any custom firmware should really work and it's compatible with the PSP Slim and Fat. But if someone here wants to try it with the PSP 3000 and it works successfully, please comment saying so. Uh, I will be using my PSP Slim with 5.50 Gen D3 firmware. Okay. Just want to tell you guys that, um, and also, you're going to want. First of all, you're going to want to restart your computer, and when it's rebooting up, hold down F8, and it will take you to a menu called the Advanced Boot Options. Now, the Advanced Boot Options menu will look something like this. Let me just scroll up and down real quick so you guys can see it. It'll look something like that. Okay, what you're going to want to do is scroll up, go down with your arrow key, go down a couple times until you hit this right here, disable driver signature enforcement right there, disable driver signature enforcement, click enter on that and your windows computer will re oh, just boot up like normally and you have to do that uh, for remote joy to install and run correctly or else it won't run so yeah you gotta do that first then once you do that, you're going to want to go um, in the video description and click on the Remote Joy link. It's, it goes to Mega Upload and it'll take you to this. And all you're going to do, you know, it's really simple how to use Mega Upload. You just type in this four letter code, click download file, then you wait 45 seconds. Uh, it'll say free download and then you just click free download and this download will seriously take you guys like one minute maximum. It is so small of a file. Um, yeah, so then once you have that, it'll look like this. Right there, Remote Joy, uh, sorry, Remote Joy Lite version 0 0.19. Okay, so you're going to have to have a program called WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R. -R. The link for that will also be in the description for you guys to download. Uh, it's a very small installation, but you will need that to open up this Remote Joy folder. Uh, file sorry so you're gonna to want to double click on it once you've installed WinRAR it'll come up to something like this then you're just gonna to want to do this Let it, uh, clear up real quick alright there you're gonna click on it okay you're gonna hold it drag and drop it onto your desktop and then you can close WinRAR and then the file folder will be right there okay that's what you're gonna need you don't need that RAR folder anymore once you have this Okay, so once you have got the folder, you're going to want to hook up your PSP with a USB cable to your computer and then go to USB mode. I'll show you what that looks like. Right here. USB mode. Um, and you just click, uh, sorry about that, that's a network update. My bad, right there, USB mode, and then you just click A. And then it will say USB mode. Sorry, you can't see that guy. My wave's kind of getting in the way. But it does say USB mode. And on your computer, it'll come up with something like this. Now what you're going to do is open this up. Uh, open folder to view files. Then on your, this will be your PSP's root. root. You're going to click on SE plugins. And then you're going to have, you know, something over here. It doesn't matter what it is. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to that Remote Joy Lite folder, double click on that, click on SE Plugins, and now do this. Put this on one side, and then we're going to get the PSP on the other side, and all you're going to want to do is highlight all of this, drag and drop it onto the PSP, click Copy and Replace, and you now have the plugins ready on your PSP. Now what you're going to want to do on your PSP 
is go into recovery menu. To do that, you just hold down your PSP thing like you turn it off, but you just keep holding it down until it completely turns off. Okay, you can unplug your USB or thing for now, but I'll just leave it in. Then you're just going to want to hold the R trigger and then turn it on, so you keep holding it down, and then it'll go to right there. And now what you're going to want to do is go to down the bottom, it says plugins, click X, and then there should be Remote Joy plugins, three of them. A VSH, a game, and a Pops. Those three right there. They should all be disabled. So you're going to want to go to each one and click X. That will enable that one. Then I'm going to go to the second one, click X. That will enable that one. Then I'm going to go to the third one, click X. That will enable all of the plugins. Okay. Then you can click the back button. And now you can click, go down and click exit. And then you should be done with your recovery menu. Now I'll reboot. Okay. And if something comes on your computer, this is from Remote Joy on your PSP. You can just close this. Every time something that says found new hardware for PSP Type B, just close it if it comes up on your computer while you're trying to do this. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is make sure that your PSP is still connected and go down to... um. I think it's system settings and then go down to USB auto connect sorry yeah, you guys can't see that this wave is really getting in the way but I'll say USB auto connect click it and then make sure it's off so it won't automatically connect to your USB okay now you're gonna wanna go to device manager on your computer so just click on the bottom left and then type in device manager And then on the, this will come up right there. Just click Device Manager. Okay. Now all these stuff will be there. Under Other Devices, it should say PSP Type B. Now what you're going to want to do is right click on it. So click on it once, then right click Update Driver Software. Now browse my computer for software or for driver software. Now you're going to want to click Browse right there. Then you're going to want to go to the desktop or wherever this remote joy folder is. Uh, it's on my desktop, so I'm going to click desktop, remote joy light. Now you're going to click on drivers and you're going to see if you have a 64 bit or a 32 bit computer. If you already know that, um, if you pick the 64, that's for 64. If you pick the one that doesn't have any numbers, that's for 32. So to check of which one you have, you're going to click here, you're going to go to computer and you're going to right click on it and go to properties and then right there it should say, let me see where is it, there, system tight 64 bit operating system, it'll tell you which one it is. So once again, 64 bit right here, 32 bit right here. I'm 64 so I'm going to click that and click OK. Now you're going to click next and then if this comes up, you click install dry, this driver software anyway. It'll start um, installing the driver software, and I'm just going to come right back when it's finished installing the driver software, okay? Alright, it is finished, and if your computer makes sounds, don't worry, that is normal. So now you're going to want to just click close, and then you can close out a device manager. And now it should be both installed on your PSP and on your um, computer. Now what you're going to want to do is make sure that your PSP is still connected, but it's not in USB mode. So just make sure that the uh, USB is connected to your PSP and your computer, but it's not in USB mode on your uh, PSP. Now what you're going to want to do is go to the Remote Joy folder. So just double click on that. And right here, you're going to want to go to the GUI folder. And you're going to want to click on Remote Joy Lite. Uh, underscore en.exe and there you go your PSP screen is now on your computer I'm just gonna make that full screen so you guys can see everything there it is my PSP screen is on my computer there's a very 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 small lag very small and you can also play games that's pretty cool so you can go to your games and sh everything will work perfectly. 
So yeah, I'm. I hope this helps. Please subscribe to me, and um, subscribe to me, Pro Haxer. And I just want to say real quick that I will be doing a pretty big giveaway. So make sure that you are subscribed, and the giveaway will be coming up pretty soon. I'll be giving away iPod accessories and um, PSP accessories. So yeah, hope that is a little heads up for you guys. So subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.